In the last video we looked at Bcash FS just to see how it performed as a root file system and the results were pretty promising to be honest. Uh, I've had a little bit more of a play afterwards. I've tried adding a second device as a root device. That didn't go as planned. Um, but today I thought let's test out encryption and if it works I might actually load this up onto one of my test machines. Now this isn't me endorsed Bcash FS just yet. But, you know, I like to experiment and I like to live life on the edge. We can see how it works. Before we do that though, we need to take a backup of this system. So let's take a little look at removing snapshots because last time we saw that um, they said snapshot support wasn't well supported. So to remove them, we need to try and do a bcache fs subvolume Tab's not working on that. Uh, subsection snapshot. Oh, it works there. Slash r slash root slash snapshot. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Maybe if I do it as a dot. Hmm. There's that in it. Right, file exists, so maybe I need to do remove rf. Snapshot. Let's look inside there, ls snapshot. Okay, okay, okay. Right, so now if I try that remove, right, let's try destroy. Destroy. Now I should be able to remove snapshot with that. Hmm, I wonder if I add LS. There's nothing in there. Can I remove it now that I've destroyed it? Okay, so deleting's not gone too well. Um, let's try it again with the home directory snapshot that I did the other day. So, uh, uh. Right, and if we do uh, bcash, let's have a little bit, um, list, fs usage, I think that's done it, I just can't remove that directory which is a bit weird, so that's something I'll need to look into later on. Okay, let's go for the main thing today. I was going to try and do in that to set up encryption. So we'll quickly um, do a backup. Okay, so we've got the backup done now. Let's take a look at the commands we need to run to get this to work. So, so with CD out of this, we unmount the directory. And we run the command vcache fs format encrypted slash dev bda3 enter a passphrase we'll do that as subscribe to him below type it again subscribe to him below okay that's created that but was a pretty damn fast. We'll add um, compression to that now. Now, since the last time I did this, I discovered that you can add compression afterwards by using the set option. So, Bcash set option compression equals LZ4 and then the drive you want. So, in this case, BDA3. Type the password. Okay, now I should just be able to mount it. Come out, Dev. We'll try it with this way first. So VDA3 slash mount gen2. Enter the password. Subscribe to Emilo. Hmm, is that because. Yeah, I typed the password in wrong. So if you see that error. Oh, it said ver failed to verify the password. Yeah, let's just pretend I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright. 
sorry, we're in. Now, if we type in mount, it doesn't mention that it's got compression on. Hmm. I wonder if that works. It's last time. Right, let's unmount this. And then let's try it this way. So, set options. Action equals... LZ4. Try it that way. Okay, now if I mount it, subscribe to Imolo. Now the compression's working, so that's something I need to highlight. It doesn't seem to work properly, but that looks good. If I go into here, everything seems to be there. So what we'll do now is we'll unpack the um, the tarball that I created as a backup, and we'll see if that will just boot as is, no drama. I kind of feel like this should work and boot, but if not, we can look at some hooks into Dracut that if it would work. So. I'll see you guys in a second after we got this unpacked. So we've now got everything done. If we do a DFH, we will see that everything is there looking good. So let's try a reboot and let's see what happens. Um, our boot drive is all normal, so um, we haven't touched it. So everything should work in theory. Okay, so that does not seem to be working. I wonder if we have bcachefs. So if we do mount slash VDA free. Hmm. I think it should be there, shouldn't it? Okay, so it does work in the internet. We just need to take a look at what's not going on so i think we need to add, add a hook to this so let's close it down okay we're in the system now so let's enter inside the char room and let's use a lib I think it's modules, so... We're going to take this Drakut uh, Bcache FS, um, we're going to take this Bcache FS hook and try and add it in. Drakut's always a magic one, feels like black magic every time I use it. So, I'm going to use Brevin, and I believe it's how you say his name's, um, Commit. So let's try and load that in. That'd be clone HTTPS GitHub dot com forward slash or even uh, FF. So LS drug Perfect, so I should be able to copy that in to slash user libs dry cut module D. There, okay. Perfect. Let's mount slash dav BDA two as boot. version equals two six seven zero dot gen two gen two email okay gonna want the force 
looks like I need to add the option for that, so option B cash S. Okay, that looks good, so I think now if we reboot that should work. did seem to do something, but not what we thought. Alright, let's try... Try our cut. Slash K version equals 6.7.0 Gen 2 Imolive Flash four. So this time we won't do the um, at zero. Let's just leave it as at zero. Sorry, the uh, the option for B cash. We'll just try doing it this way. We'll see if this boots for an attempt to. Okay. Yeah, and without that, it doesn't seem to want to work. Ah. I wonder. Hmm, so go. Right, let's try. No, that's not going to do it. Right. I am wondering. If I just messed up. Just like then. Right, have I got the thing there? No. So draw cut. Slash F for force. The K version equals six dot seven dot zero gen two. I didn't like the look at that. Now I think we need to add some options to the command line. Now what this should also do is allow um, sub volumes to be mounted as the root, which does look quite good. Reload grub. The grub make config. I know this is the bad way to do it, but we're only testing, so we're just going to do it this way. Grub, dot, grub, can be, there we go. So let's find where the settings is for it. Look at this one. <laughs> Hello. Now we type in our password, which is subscribe to M and A. Here we go, boys. We're in. So yeah, that seems like it is absolutely working. So things we need to do to get this working in Gen 2 is quickly write up a quick e-build, get that submitted over to Gen 2, but I'm quite pleased with that. The Brevin's done a very good job. Um, encryption is working now. So, I think I'm going to load this up onto a test machine 
see how it actually goes. I've got a new machine that I want to use for um, some testing. So, yeah. I think this is going to be the perfect opportunity to test out this file system to see how it works in a way that doesn't matter if I lose the data. So again, not to say that you guys should be running this. I like things breaking. It makes me enjoy computers. But it's very promising. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for a project to get into on a device that doesn't matter, maybe this is one for you. Young people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. <laughs> They're doing their part. Are you? Join the mobile infantry and save the world. Service guarantees citizenship. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and write that e-build now and get that working. Um, and I might see you in a couple of weeks with an update just to show you how things have gone running Bcash for a while. But do let me know what you thought about this video and um, like if you liked it and dislike if you didn't. Catch you on the next one.